This is the hunting ground of the predators, with several celestial bodies in the sky. The terrain on the ground is very complex and there are many, ferocious beasts. Eight earthlings are selected as prey and transported from above to this jungle. There are mercenary Royce, Sniper Isabel, Doctor, Edwin, Japanese assassin Hanzo, Special Forces Nikolai, United Nations Officer Mombasa, Fugitive Stands, and Mexican Drug Lord Cachillo. However, they do not know that a mysterious enemy is watching them from the shadows. Suddenly, cries for help can be heard in the distance. It turns out that Cachillo is calling for help from the bushes but his body remains motionless. Isabel wants to rescue him, but Royce stops her. Royce realizes that this is a trap, so he throws a stone that gets sliced in half. They have no choice but to leave Cachillo behind. Isabel shoots Cachillo's heart to spare him from suffering. However, Cachillo is still shouting for help loudly. Help. Isabel quickly leaves. The group continues on, determined to find out what their opponents are. Following strange footprints, they arrive at a campsite. Here, Creatures hang upside down from trees and several skulls are placed on a stone table. To their horror, they find a creature tied up at the campsite. Despite each person's past misdeeds, the scene is chilling to witness. The predator suddenly looks up and roars, causing everyone to back away in terror. Then, a spear shoots up from the ground and pierces Mombasa's chest. The others immediately grab their weapons and shoot frantically. While shooting, they retreat. They realize that there is more than one invisible enemy, and their weapons are extremely powerful. They reach a cliff, and one by one, they fall into the river, temporarily, escaping danger. At this moment, their opponent reveals their true identity. The predator begins to act in order to complete the hunt. While on the run, Edwin falls behind accidentally. Nikolai tries to save him, but is impaled by the predator's claws. Nikolai uses a hand grenade to blow himself, and the tracker up. The group gains temporary safety, but not for long as they are attacked by the predator again. The predator takes aim at Royce's chest. In a critical moment, Stan suddenly tackles the predator from behind and attacks him with a knife. Stan's fights to buy time for the others to escape. Unfortunately, the predator kills Stan's. As the remaining few step onto the edge of the jungle, Hanzo hears the enemy approaching from behind. Hanzo chooses to stay behind and face them alone removing his jacket to reveal his full back tattoo. Falconer gives Hanzo a fair chance for a duel. Although Hanzo is skilled with his sword, he is still no match for Falconer. Hanzo is knocked down repeatedly and can only use his strongest attack. With his strongest attack, Hanzo manages to kill Falconer. However, Hanzo also dies gloriously in battle. Edwin and Isabel are captured by the Predator while on the run and thrown into a large pit. Royce, on the other hand, arrives at the hunting ground and negotiates with the captured Predator. In exchange for their safe return to Earth the Predator agrees to their terms. Royce enies the Predator, and the Predator keeps his promise by deactivating the ship's cloaking device and setting the destination for Earth. At this moment, Berserker arrives and engages in a direct fight with the Predator. Berserker's advanced weapons, speed, and attack give him a considerable advantage. The Predator quickly falls and has his head chopped off by Berserker. However, Edwin suddenly takes out a poison knife and cuts Isabel's skin. Edwin then reveals the truth that he is a serial killer and plans to stay on the planet. Just then, Royce returns. Upon seeing Royce, Edwin reverts back to his previous demeanor. Royce rescues them from the pit, but Edwin attempts to attack Royce from behind. Royce sees through his plan and turns around to kill Edwin with a single move. Later, Berserker returned and found Edwin lying on the ground. As he flipped Edwin over, he discovered that his body was covered in grenades. Berserker was caught in the explosion and suffered injuries. Royce then lit multiple fires and covered himself in mud for camouflage as he engaged in a final battle with Berserker. With so many fires burning, Berserker's thermal imaging sensors malfunctioned and he was unable to detect Royce's presence. Berserker sustained injuries, repeatedly, but Berserker has rich combat experience, using the sound of heartbeat to determine the enemy's position and counterattack with plasma cannon. Although there was no direct hit, Royce was injured by the shockwave. After Isabel saw it, she crawled towards the sniper rifle ahead. Just as Royce was about to be killed, Isabel shot Berserker. Royce seized the opportunity, picked up the axe and killed Berserker. After the battle ended, the two rested until dawn. Once again, many parachutes appeared in the sky. 
A new predator was sent over, and a new round of hunting game was about to begin. This story tells us that no creature can outmatch humans. No matter how powerful the predator is, it can still be defeated by humans.